So once you have the PTV started and running, depending on where you left off with your V groove, is what is what position it will start in. Here on the screen, we have an icon with one circle, with an arrow in and an arrow out. That one circle is letting you know that you are in V groove mode. This is the switch for V groove. You have to pull it up before you can move it. When you're in pull mode with V groove off, now you have both bull wheels and it's still in and out. So this is showing you pull mode using your bull wheels. This is how many pounds you're telling this machine to stop at. We're telling this machine we do not want to exceed 5,500 pounds. To change that, you'll hit the button that matches. You lower it by 1,000, lower it by 100, raise it by 100, or raise it by 1,000. Once you have your number set, you have to hit the green check mark or else you did not stay registered in the system. This is where we're telling the machine to stop. This is what we're actually doing. Miles per hour and how many feet we've got out. At this point, if we're ready to pull in, you will grab the joystick, squeeze the trigger, and pull back. As you start pulling back, further you pull it back, the faster you're going. This is both bull wheels pulling in your con pulling in your rope or pulling in your conductor using the bull wheels. If you need to stop, you just push it to the neutral position and now your brake is on. If you need to pay out, you grab the joystick, squeeze the trigger, and you go forward with the joystick. This will be paying out your rope. Brake again is in the center. That's for both sets of bull wheels in pull mode. V groove mode, pull the handle up. It's now in V groove. You've identified it by the icon showing only one wheel. And it's the same process. Grab your joystick, squeeze the trigger, pull back. This time when you pull back, you will notice only the back or bottom bull wheel will be turning. The top bull wheel will be locked out for this usage. The further you pull it, the faster it goes. And then, just like the other mode, neutral, the brake is on. If you want to go forward, grab the joystick, squeeze the trigger, and go forward past neutral. The, faster you, the further you push it, the faster it goes. And you bring it back to neutral, and there's your brake. So this machine also has a tension mode. Right now, the level wind is in the middle of the machine. So if you were to hit tension mode, you will notice this come across the screen. This is telling you the level wind is not parked. You cannot go into tension mode until this level wind is at its parked slash home position, which will be all the way to the right if you're in the cab looking at it. <laughs>